Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Down to Mars. Thank you guys for tuning in to the last episode. If you didn't already, got us to forget. Harry Yes. Woo! HP with the sauce. Let them no, know no, who you are. No, no, HP like the sauce. Oh, oh. No, 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 it's Sorry, sir. Whoa. Look, HP, to, HP I, like the sauce. Yeah, I had to cock up the foot for this one. Sorry, so no. yeah, 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 I have to keep it. Like the sauce. All right, cool. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. I'm on a stick. Yeah, so uh, guys, if you don't know, it's Harry Panero. Just a YouTuber, entertainer, <laughs> slash presenter, host, uh, just, just extraordinary. Just. But anyway, yeah, I'm with my peoples, man. Ooh. We're back again. Another I love you. Oh, yeah. Episode for you. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm part of the, the team now. I you think know you what? should yeah. be. Yeah. You, you're, you're very well. Yeah. Down role. to Mars with H. Uh, I think that's yeah. got a nice little ring to you have it. Your own little segment. We'll give you a segment. few more weeks for uh, you know probation, wow. and yeah. then we'll let you know. Cold. <laughs> right? Cold. You're not quite there yet. You're okay. really cool. 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 You shut me down, bang bang. You get me? <laughs> no, we've we've loved having you here. So Thank you. It's yeah. been great. A good addition. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're fitting. You're fitting. Um, this this week. Yes. I don't know, I've just been, you know, sometimes I pay attention to what's being said online. Yes. Some, sometimes I'm, I don't really care. More time I don't care, but mm. sometimes you'll read the comments and you'll be like, oh, like, mm. <laughs> you look, where's your head at? Like, yeah. where, how did you come to this conclusion? Where are you at? What are you thinking? <laughs> what's going on? No, no <laughs> trust me. Because pe- people say, obviously, we, get, I don't know, really know about you. I don't know whether you get, do you get, you feel like you get really backlash or... I get backlash, but it's like it's more, f- it's more people being upset at things that I'm not in control of. Okay. So it's like you might not like what I've done, the content that I've done, mm-hmm. and Big you're entitled shit. to that, innit? Yeah. But when it then comes as if you have a problem with me, then I just think that's a more you thing. Mm. Mm. So like, not think my like I, I give content out. That's my that's my job is to create content, and people ain't gonna like it, and I have to be ready for that. I try to focus primarily on the people that do care about it and have good things to say about it. I love constructive criticism. If people have got something to say about my work, something they didn't like, or they feel like, you know what, that's a little problem. But when it's things about my personal life or mm. things that like I do, who the hell are you? Uh, like, who are you, bro? You're just hell. another person that's telling mm. me something that isn't got nothing to do with me. Facts. So I, I'm just so tunnel vision to like, what is my own reality that mm. whatever what anyone has got to say about me, doesn't matter because you don't, don't know me. You just know mm. the the Harry Panero who is the entertainer. Who exactly. you know certain things about me, but you don't know me. Mm. Like, and it's just an it's an it's an opinion. I yeah, and it's like I, I'm not based. I'm, my 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 life and where I am right now isn't because of opinions. Mm. It's because of facts. The fact is, I'm talented at what I do. I do what I do mm. to the best of my ability, and it's changed my life. Yeah. So anything else that's happened apart, like. Um, on the side from that is either a blessing or it's a lesson learned, isn't it? And I'm not trying to get caught up in what people got to say about me. Mm. That's not what's important. What's, what know, is yeah. that? Like, for me, I just always think, what is that? Like, I understand how it affects people, what people say, because people say nasty stuff, mm. innit? Mm. And it's like certain things that if you're insecure about something, like, for example, like, when people get onto, like, for example, jokes, like my hairline, yeah? I don't care about that stuff because if, if it was such a big deal, turkey. <laughs> it's, not long. It's, not long. it's not long. You don't yeah. want to see me for like pa- um, two months and then my ting's hair. So it's like resting and recharging. You get me? <laughs> but like, no, I mean, do you know what I mean? So, no, so yeah, like, you know, like, like mentally, <laughs> things ain't the same. So I need to focus. I've got a lot on my head. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Like for me, but it's like I, I, I'm so confident and, and comfortable within myself mm. that That's like, to be, man. yeah, but I was all. I, the thing is, the difference between me and probably a lot of people is that. Before this stuff started, yeah, I was already someone. Like, in the hood, in the end, yeah. you knew who I was. If you're from Peckham or you knew, anyone who knew me knew who I was. So that was my thing, innit? So I kind of had the, um, how to say, like, I had respect from the people who I wanted respect from, mm. which are the people who I knew. So when I stepped into this now, it was like, I don't want you to respect me. I want you to respect my work. If you don't respect me, that's cool. It's not a problem because my, my main job is to give you entertainment. Now, if you start to um, dive too deep into me, then that's when you're going to be in trouble because I ain't perfect. Yeah, true. Mm. And um, I've never come into this thing trying to be some, guys, I'm the best person. I tell you guys where I'm from. I have my faults. This is what I do. Either you agree with it or you don't, innit? Mm. And I think when I'm, I'm in control of my own destiny, in a sense, I've I'll put out what I want people to see. So I expect backlash from it, but I look at it as it's publicity. 
Because say for example, like a blog page was to say Harry Pinero does this and whatever. People that know what that exactly what I'm doing will look at that and think he's doing his thing. It's the people that don't know who I am or don't have the understanding that this is entertainment have problems to talk, say. Yeah. So I just I just under, I've understood that from early. So that's why I never comment on that stuff. You won't catch me defending myself online because who the hell are you? Lot? Exactly, and like, I think that's what's that's what's really important because yeah. I think as us, obviously we've kind of like stepped into the space. Mm. It's still new to us, still mm -hmm, fresh. Mm -hmm. So obviously we've had some situations where people have replied to certain comments. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Right. No, no, no. Yeah. 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 Go on, abs. <laughs> Defend yourself. Go on, abs. I'm gonna make this clear, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously when we first started the podcast, I would actually watch what people would say. And do you know mm. what? Sometimes I would watch it, sometimes I wouldn't. But it's when we would get tagged, like they'd pop like at us in the they video. Make a point of making or, you see. or come into our page and write it. So I'll go back and I'll comment back. Like, don't come. Are you like, no, no, no. That's like, if you're gonna talk about us, talk about us. When you're coming to our face and just throwing your hatred <laughs> yeah, on our yeah, page, yeah. like, yeah. no, that's deep. I'm not like, having that. They're going, they're going that. personal with it, so I'm gonna go back. Do you know what yeah. I mean? I'm not that type of person, no. But do now, you know what? Like, obviously I won't do that. Obviously well. we've put ourselves out. You're putting, when you're yeah, creating course, content, course, you're putting yeah, yourself yeah. out there, innit? So you're making yourself available to criticism. You're making, people are gonna give their opinion. Not everyone's mm. gonna fuck with you. That's mm. just, the, like, that's, you have to accept that. Really? You know that before yeah, yeah, you're yeah. even putting it out there, you know you're yeah. gonna have people that talk shit. Yeah. Um, I feel like for us, a lot of the time it's just people, because I feel like we are, un, well, I, I can talk for myself, I'm just myself in it, like I'm just, I'm just me in it, so yeah. I'm not going to put any pretenses um, in terms of how I speak, how I articulate myself, this is how I would conduct a conversation mm. with Anyone. Real, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, if I'm cool. sitting on this, is how I'll sit down and chop it up. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So just because it's like, yeah, this is gonna go on YouTube, it's gonna go on Spotify. Like mm. I'm not gonna now, you know, yeah, this is I'm gonna pretty up. Mm. Do you know yeah, what I mean? I'm gonna yeah. talk a certain way, or I'm gonna, and a lot of people can't, they can't comprehend that. Like mm. so, they're just looking at these girls like, raw. Why do these girls want to sit down and talk like man? Or why do these girls want to act like something? Like no, this is not me acting like something that I'm not. This is actually. The thing is, yeah, people are product of, of their environments. Exactly. So, like, cool. I, I, I know girls who are my close brethren, yeah, but they've got seven brothers. Or they're, they're born in Peckham, or born in Brixton, or Tottenham, or Fulton Heath. Your environment is what you're a product of. So, mm -hmm. if everybody in school is speaking a certain way, we're going to pick up off the lingo. Naturally, yeah. And, and, and mannerisms, and, and music, and culture. So, when I look at a woman and I see that stuff, it makes me excited because you get it. Mm. I don't have to explain to you. Do you get me? And I feel I'm like there's a disconnect with like, for example, yeah, you know, for example, you're from Fort and Heath, yeah? You know how people from Fort and Heath deal with certain things, yeah? <laughs> or whatever, or Peckham, let's use me then, for example. <laughs> yeah, I'm from Peckham. So I know how people okay. from Peckham move, yeah? So that's all I'm going to relate to. I'm going to relate to that type of de dealing with things, isn't it? Mm. So when I come into a world where social media based, yeah, where there's so many different opinions, yeah, I disconnect from that because it's like, I can't win this battle. Mm. This battle yeah. is not a battle anyone has ever won. Mm. We're talking about the biggest people in the world. Name someone who hasn't mm. been a victim of some sort of abuse online. You have to. It's this, you, this, you, this you how it goes, to, isn't it? Like, yeah. And I'm not trying to say that I'm popping, but I'm saying, real talk, if you ain't got no haters, you're not popping. Yeah. And I, I, yeah. it's a fact. It's just a statement itself. Like, if you generally don't have, generally don't have no people's hating on you, it's because what you're doing hasn't, hasn't ru yeah, like, ruffled enough care. feathers. Mm, mm. So I'm, I just think I'm just too clued up in the sense of I've been watching this thing from before. Now I'm in it, I know what I need to do. Comments ain't gonna affect my thing, bro. Like what, so what? You commenting or telling me that, or having your opinion based on what you think I should be doing, or what you feel is right, I should then say, do you know what? Yeah, you're right. Unless I genuinely feel like, you know what you're saying is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm, it's not gonna affect It's not gonna me. affect what you're you get doing. Me? I, I remember when I was uploading videos, yeah, and I was uploading videos of like, um, people that was, I don't know, on crack or whatever, before, when I wasn't trying to do what I was trying to do and I didn't have a purpose, which was to be what I am now, mm. I'd upload those things mm. and no one could tell me nothing. But then when I realised, OK, cool, this is not good for my brand that I'm trying to build, I listened to those things and I stopped mm. doing them. Yeah. I remember uploading a video and people were like, what are you doing? Mm. Da -da 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 -da, and I deleted the video and I never uploaded a video like that again mm. because I know it's wrong. Mm. I listen to what you guys are saying constructive criticism like I You're said taking before, it in, yeah. taking it in. But well, you telling me how I should live my life, go suck your mother. <laughs> Honestly, go suck your mother. To the point. To the point. Like, get your straw, go suck her out <laughs> properly.
so you can learn something different because you definitely don't know who you're talking to. Yeah. I'm not the one and I will never ever be the one. So that's why comments, bring you, the you, can say whatever, yeah. you can say whatever you want. I'm a real life kind of guy. You bring that energy to the real life, then I can deal with it the way I feel like I life. can deal with yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Online, I, I can't win you. You've won. Yeah. Yeah, the Anyone online thing... You've won! <laughs> I ain't gonna... Yeah, it's happen. You can't match up to it. The online thing is different. And yeah. I think, as we've said, like, you're always gonna have... People are always gonna have their opinions. Not everyone's gonna agree with you. Not everyone's gonna like you. That's mm -hmm. just facts. But I think more of the understanding comes from, you know, you explaining, well, this, this is where I come from. Because people might look at you. Mm. People might maybe go on your Instagram. They scroll through your socials and they think, well, you know, he's living... He's living a good life, or she's mm. living a good life, blah, blah, or she looks good, she's happy, blah, blah, blah. So they don't necessarily know where you're coming from, mm. or they don't necessarily know, you know, what you've experienced, what's what's made you who you are in it. So when I, like, even when, I don't really pay attention to comments in it, because I think before, if you're going to go on a podcast or something that's putting your opinions out there, you know. Yeah. People, not everyone's going to fuck with you, like, yeah. especially when you're being... Unapolog yeah, yeah, like you're just mm. keeping it true in it. Like yeah. I'm just gonna tell you, like I'm not gonna say this because it's what sounds nice, or I'm not gonna mm. say this because everyone's. Gonna, I know everyone's gonna fuck with it. Like no, you might not like this. You might think, oh, she's this or she's that. That's fine. That's mm. your that's your opinion. Mm. I'm actually unbothered. But when we're talking amongst ourselves, I think it's more about where we're coming from. Like for mm. myself, yeah. I yeah. know I'm not really. I'm coming from a place of like I feel like I'm well experienced mm. like mm. in just in terms of like real life in it like mm -hmm. i feel like i've had real life experiences that have made me know raw this this is real like this mm. is actually real in it life yeah. isn't just a little pretty pretty thing like you'll mm. really experience heartache True. or mm. things that will really like do you know what i mean you know yeah. raw like you have to hold it and for me to even like where i see myself and the people around me yeah, mm. is the higher heights, like, mm. do you know what I mean? And I've always had that vision, you know, yeah. Yeah, 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 like just being mm. able to see the bigger picture, regardless of where I come from, because where I, I grew up in Pollard Hills. Part of the kingdom. And it's just like, yeah. it's the ghetto. Yeah, it's like, the ghetto. And not many yeah. make it out, you know, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> not many make it out. It's not really like a place where people flourish, in it? Like, no disrespect, but it's, I feel like it's easy <laughs> when you grow up in them. If you're in that, environment it's easy to be to think this is like this is it this mm. is, the end this is yeah. it yeah, yeah like yeah. it's hard to see the bigger picture when that's all you're shown in it mm. but for me i always knew like i don't know in it i just i know you knew I you know. knew what it to be i know that there's something with like, yeah, 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 yeah like yeah. i know that i have it in it and, and so not mad you say that in this year because everyone i thought everyone has that it's just about, the maddest thing yeah. is everybody has that. Like it could what, be that the, thing inside of you. Yeah, mm. like you I, think? I mean it. But the reason why I say that is because I had that. Like mm. I, speaking about where you're from, I am from the gutter, bro. Like that's where I was raised. Do you get it? Mm. So even with all of that stuff, I remember we used to be in the morning, yeah, before everyone was gonna go and do what they were gonna do in the morning. Sometimes man, would link up in McDonald's in the morning, yeah. Mm. I would just always be the one to crack jokes in the morning, like. I'm that type of person. I always was myself, but my environment, yeah, kind of put that to the side. Mm. So it's like, I'm the funny guy, but my environment ain't funny. So I, I can't, I kind of can't be who I want to be because mm. of where I am. Yeah. Because, because of where I am. So then I'm in an environment where like, the jokers don't really get the respect. Yeah. So I can't be myself in this place because you have to be on smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To get me. I'm from an environment where like, you show a little bit of weakness, yeah. That that's it, You're bro. They prey on that. Yeah. And I'm I'm not that guy, bro. I was never, I was always trying to be cool and calm, and I realized that that stuff don't work. So then I have to adapt. Then I have to lose focus of what really makes me happy because mm. of the situation I'm in. Do mm. you get me? And I keep telling like this is what I say to people, yeah. You don't understand when I say to you, yeah. This is a blessing mm. because my day to day weren't weren't like how it is like this. Mm. I'm talking about, bro. Like you wake up in the morning, you've got a madness with someone who lives too three minutes away from you. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that trauma's like? like mm. And even if you're on it the most, bro, the fact that you know that there's a small percentage that this person could potentially do me something, mm. 
Mm. Nah, I'm not having none of that. That mentality is what is around everybody, bro. So mm. I don't ever look at a, a young youth who's involved in anything and look, oh, why are you wasting your life? Bro, it's kill or be killed yeah. out here, bro. It's and this, this is an thing. environment which mm. we're from. I'm from that. Mm. And I'm able to do this. But what I had to go through, bro, is trauma. The journey, There's certain yeah. times, yeah, I'll be in my crib, yeah. Like, I'll get an offer or something crazy, yeah. Mm. Or... I don't know, like, I'll just look at my son's picture or I'll look at the fact that I'm chilling today, bunning in a zoo, and I'm, I'm, I can do that now. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Then it always take me back to where I was before. Mm. Then that's when I get emotional. I'm just like, nah, man, this don't feel real. Oh, yeah. mm. This don't feel real, bro. Because I still got man that's still in the hood, and I'm just like, I wish you could feel like how I feel. Mm. Mm. Like, I wish you could, because it's so different to, where, mm. to the way it is when I was, like, on the roads, innit? You get me? And... The reason why, like, some people would never even think that because of the way I am is yeah. because this was always who I wanted to be. This is just the broadcasted version. This is the massive version, the version that I really wished I could put out there. Mm. But I had to go through all of that to do that. In order to mm. and, and my thing is, the reason why I always try to promote, yeah, be you, because that's the real happiness. Mm. When I was on the roads and, like, we was, like, the greasiest shoots on ends and no one would ever think of coming to that that didn't make me feel good no. mm. because I knew that that went because of just me. That was because of everyone. That's mm. because this person did this and he's, he's rolling with us. And for me, I didn't, I didn't get no satisfaction from that. But guess what? I got a satisfaction from jumping off my fucking stairs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And man laughing at the fact that <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, <laughs> wow, I, I do this whenever I move to Gal, this is what it is. Have you ever <laughs> seen, do you remember this when, you're trying to move to this person and mm. I'm giving you a lot. People can relate to it. Can relate, relate to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one can relate to, you get me, being run over Go on your beach. birthday. No one can relate to yeah. you being stabbed. No one can relate to getting ducked down and you used to butt. No one can, re- not a lot of people can relate to that stuff. Mm. So, and that's negative. It's not what I wanted mm. to promote, but this is what I want to promote, energy. Yeah. So when I've gone through that year and you want to compare it to like social media, it yeah. doesn't even Fickle. compare. Yeah. Yeah. When you yeah. was on the roads, like, in Peckham or whatever, is there anybody that you idolised from your area who had made it out? Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what, yeah? I think everyone that's from Peckham would say Giggs because mm. Giggs was really the, the real deal, innit? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. there's no... that It wasn't, like, like, a gimmick or anything. Yeah. Like, you know, you see a lot of people come through. That's why with me, like, my respect comes from... Not because you've been the baddest, mm-hmm. but because you're real. Mm. It could be real in any sense. Yeah. It could be, like... You're a real prick, but at least I know that <laughs> you're, you're a real one. Like, you're yeah, real you're at one. doing what you do. But with Keep gigs, yeah, gigs was like, cool. As we see you, we've, we've, we've seen what you've done. Like, it's, it's, a, it's official, but what you've done in, ch- in terms of changing your life mm. and what you've been able to achieve, yeah. it was, it's the biggest thing anyone yeah, from the true. ends. I think yeah. anyone that was from ends, and I don't mean Peckham, I mean ends. Mm. You looked at gigs and thought, you know what, we're it's championing funny. you. Do you get yeah. me? Mm. And that adversity from ends, then we see Damps and Idris, then you see, like, like there's so many men so from many Peckham men. or ends, then even yeah. Croydon. I remember when Croydon was just moving mad, Stormzy, Crypto Crypt Kona, Kona, Section yeah. Boys. Like, everyone yeah, man, was just, yeah, man, it was yeah. just lit. And it's yeah. like, it's I idolised that, innit? Mm. That's what I idolised. Before I used to idolise the baddest man and the guy who's done all of this, but then I stopped all of that stuff. There's too yeah. many of those in the world. What about the people that actually, actually doing shit, yeah. doing yeah. mad oh, stuff? Yeah. Like, you get it's me. Crazy. You That's why, I, like, even up to like when I said section boys, shout out to section boys because I remember Littles. Yeah, he <laughs> called me one day and he was like, "Bro, make sure you come to this show. I'm not gonna say too much, but there's gonna be a madness there." And mm. I remember that's the show that Skepta came and Drake mm. came and mm. all of that stuff. And one. he doesn't know, yeah, that like, them man don't know that that stuff opened my eyes to the fact that it can happen. You can do it. What yeah. the hell is Drake doing? Yeah. Coming from the Brits yeah. to come here and perform at your show, bro. The mic weren't even working, bro. <laughs> and man are singing his song. Like, mm. that opened my eyes to bare it things. I just said, real. fuck yeah, this, man. Like, nah, man, we can do this. We can do anything. Yeah. Like, so shout out to them. That's why I always got love for them differently. Like, they won't even know, but like, that was my first like I wow, moment. Yeah. Like, whoa, I, that, yeah. So imagine, I posted that picture 15 times. <laughs> that picture of me, Drake, and my brethren. I posted it 15 times. I, I wanted to let that. him know. Yeah, that. You know, <laughs> if you're not following me, you know, bro. That was like, I've made it. All right. Don't play with me. Yeah, don't touch me. Yeah, open it, open it. I remember when I first started my Instagram. It's so mad, yeah. Like I started my new Instagram. This is the Harry Panera one, yeah. The first picture was the the Drake one. 
Because <laughs> I, I clocked here that raw, like... That's different. That's the, that's, yeah. that's, that's, the that's the picture. And I said to my brother, I was like, you know, I thought, I'll be honest with you. Like, I've known you for like 10 years, bro. You ain't got a better picture than that. So I think <laughs> that should be your only picture. You know them certain oh, yeah, Instagram yeah, pages, yeah, 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 yeah it's only it's one picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. picture. Yeah, yeah, you got, yeah. But going back to what I was saying, that's what made me think, okay, cool. You be yourself, mm. you be you, yeah, it'll work. Everything because the reason why, for example, the reason why I say section, the reason why they bust was because they was being them. They was talking about the stuff that they like, oh, cause badders. I used to hear them talk that, that stuff and it was like, you're being you and people are clocking onto that and wanting to use those wordplay. That's yeah. sick because mm. everyone's fucking with your energy. And I think that's what I'm happy about. I just care about being me and mm. doing me because that's all so lit to get paid that's to be yeah. you. No, it's inspiring, definitely. I feel like I went through a phase, yeah, in college where I wanted to, like, for example, I would say I studied media, so I was very, like, creative, did drama. Mm. Not quite sure if that was my bag, but, you know, <laughs> enjoyed it. I, was, I liked mm. expressing myself, mm. but I kind of, then as college was coming to an end, I just kind of felt like this is not practical. Like, I, I said to myself, if I was going to go to uni, I would study, like, media or drama, because that's kind of what I wanted to get into. But then I kept convincing myself that you're not going to become paid, anything yeah. if you go and do that. And having that mindset just forced me into just, like, working, and I jumped straight into, like, working and stuff. And obviously, yeah, it's had its benefits and stuff, but I would never say I had passion for what anything I ever did. Yeah. And I think if I could go back and I had a different mindset and actually just push like things that I actually wanted to do, yeah. I probably would have been in a different position. Mm, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But because of the way my mind, so that's why when I said like, do you really think everyone has it in them? Cause I don't think I had it in me. Like I, I had that, I kept telling myself like closing all the doors like around me, like, no, you're not good. There's no point going into media. Like, what's the point? You're not going to become a presenter or you're not going to do like any kind of, do you know what I mean? I just couldn't see it. But that was because of my mindset. That's the key thing, I think, is being able to see it because some people, they have it in them, but they're just Mm. not even, they're not feeding into that. So Mm. they wouldn't even know, do you know what I mean? Yeah. They're cool with just the regular, Mm. you know, go to work, go home. Yeah. Yeah, and some people, that's, that, that is Biggest killer, though. Yeah, it is a bigger killer, but for some people, that is enough. Like, Mm. some people, I'd probably be say, like, us, Mm. um, in order to feel fulfilled, you want to be doing more oh. than like mm. just. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, cool. You might have your your day to day job or whatever, mm-hmm. but you know, <laughs> out, outside of that, you're you're doing what you need to be doing. Do you know what I mean? Like, in order. Okay, cool. I want to get into this field, so I'm making sure that I'm putting out content at least once mm. a week, mm. and mm. Do you know what I mean. It aligns with that. Yeah. But even for myself, I'd say like it was. I always knew that I wanted to do something. Oh. Yeah, like just yeah, more, innit? Like creative. I've always been creative, always had a creative mind, mm-hmm. but I've always, I always knew, okay, I want to kind of delve into that field, mm-hmm. you know, go and the opportunity is not going to create itself. So it's like, okay, cool, we have to kind of create the opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? We have to make the opportunity, yeah, yeah, innit? Yeah. Like, someone's going to come say, you know, I want to hire you for this. Can you do this? Blah, blah, blah. Like, it's not, it's not going to no, happen. I also think though, yeah, in this year, that people only thrive, yeah, when they have to. Some certain people only when they yeah, have if to. You just look around like for yeah, like so. If you know, okay, cool. You're you're, you're content. <laughs> like, like you said, you get me out. <laughs> yeah, like, help me. Do you know what I mean? But like, if you're content, yeah, with like, okay, cool. I get paid this amount, like every month. It mm-hmm. it helps my lifestyle. It helps what I it's want enough. to live. It's enough. Mm. Then cool. You'll stay there. What makes you happy? Mm. But if you know that, like, you're only being content and you're not pushing yourself here, yeah, you're never going to be happy yeah. because you're deep down, unfulfilled. I mean, you that's know. How I felt, though, that yeah, so deep down, you knew that, Ra, there's more, but I'm not, I'm, I'm I'm not, not feeling my to p- do it, potential, yeah. innit? Yeah. Like, I can only use my example because I had nothing else. Mm. I was down and out, bro. Like, and I'm, I'm not saying that because it sounds cool. I genuinely was, I had nothing, bro. Yeah. Out of uni, at no job. I can't do the roads no more. Bro, what the hell am I gonna do? Mm. I just know that, fam, there's one thing that always works is when I put my phone on, like when I put my Snapchat on, I make people laugh. Oh, yeah. mm. Do you get me? You lot have had me on Snapchat mm-hmm. at the time. Even if it's not, not trying to be funny, I'd post something and it's, and it's jokes. Quackery, yeah. That's a natural <laughs> instinct. So yeah. I said, okay, cool, I'm gonna work off that. And that built my own confidence as well. Cause I'm starting to realize, okay, cool. I'm doing all of this stuff, broke the ass, but everyone's still <laughs> Fucking with They're you. And even aside yeah. from the money, yeah, even when you said early, like mm. when you go to a job and it's every Tom, Dick and Harry and you're putting on this mask mm. of your, like, that's not yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? And you want to be in a situation where you can be yourself and you're mm. getting paid for it. That's just a bonus. Yeah, so like, aside from money, you're fulfilling your happiness. Mm. My real as well. happiness. Yeah. yeah, it's mad because when I was working at my, my, my job that I quit, um, 
that was like a job that like it was very relaxed. There's all dogs in the offices. Oh, mad. You know the ones there when you see <laughs> yeah, dogs in the office? Yeah, Archie yeah, and whore. Wendy. You know them little dogs there, little dirty dogs. And, <laughs> and obviously, I used to just think to myself, OK, cool. Yeah, this place here yeah, pays me. I can stay here from 7 AM. Because I was working mad shifts, bro. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you don't remember when I was working at that place, the computer place. But <laughs> I, I was there <laughs> from, one in, from early morning <laughs> no, to absolutely. 1. And I'll do my stairs videos there. Mm. Mm. So I made my work where I can make my money, but also create my legacy, which I'm trying yeah. to build now, yeah? And because I felt like, okay, cool, this is all I have right now. It's my last chance, yeah? Mm. I didn't play games with that. Mm. Like, mm. you always have to look at things for what they are. If you're trying to be the best at what you want to be, you have to learn. You have mm. to get disciplined, bro. There's got to be something that you do that's different to what everyone else is doing. And the thing is, yeah, I kept looking at people that were in positions of success. The one thing that they were doing more than everyone was working hard. Mm. Consistency. Yeah. Consistency. If you look at someone like, I look at people like, for example, Munya, yeah? You guys know who Munya is, he does yeah. the skits. If a situation happens he's within there. two hours, that video's out. Mm. Work rate. Mm. His work rate's unmatched. Mm. And it reminds me of when I first started. How dare, how dare I not work hard, bro? Mm. Do I want this or not? Because mm. if I want it, you've got to put the hours in. You've mm. got to put the work in. That's why there's not that much successful people in industries because not everyone can do that. Mm. Not everyone can fathom the fact of, okay, cool, maybe for like six months I ain't going to get paid. Mm. Or maybe I might not be able to, you know, chill with my brethren for this amount. Mm. Or maybe like, you get me, while everyone's gone on holiday, I'm going to be at home, mm. chilling. Can't go, yeah. That's, it's a sacrifice, isn't it? It's a sacrifice. Yeah. And six months or a year of sacrifice in comparison to maybe 30 years of success yeah. doesn't compare. It doesn't compare, yeah, yeah. So um, I think it's just one of those things where you have to know what you want before you take that leap and don't just do things because you feel like it's the right thing to do. Oh, you know what? Let me just do this because there's nothing else to do. And if you are going to do that, make sure you have a plan, bro. Because mm. I had a plan when I started working at my job. From six months, I was out of there. Mm. Mm. And yeah. did you six months? Have oh, yeah. Yeah. Proofs hey! in the pudding, baby. You get me? The proofs in the pudding. And you know what's so <laughs> mad, Abby, yeah? Funny story about my job, yeah? Mm. When I was working there, yeah, it was like, cool. So it was two, two rooms, yeah? Mm. You have the one side for the people that do the hands, because we was working at a company called QuickUp, yeah? Mm. Where it's like on-demand deliveries. So for example, say uh, you wanted to get something from Selfridges and you was at home. Okay. You'd place the order through the app. We'd go and buy it for you and bring it to you. Okay. Mm. So I would be in contact with the drivers and whatnot. Mm. So then you had the, the accounts and the big bosses. And yeah. So they was in different rooms. No one really knew who I was or even spoke to me. Mm. It was just... This guy works here, innit? Yeah. So at the end of the year, I had already handed in my notice, innit? So I said to the, um, so they was like, okay, cool, guys, we, we, need, we need to check who has, who's always late, who um, drinks the most coffee, who has the most social media following. At the time, I just hit 100K followers, but I was still working, yeah? Really? So yeah, they had a meeting downstairs, innit? And everyone was upstairs, and every Friday, they'd do like a thing where like, they'd have um, bottles, you know, the beer and okay. that. Man, yeah, I don't yeah, drink yeah, the beer thing, yeah, man's yeah. on the hen dog thing, get me? Mm. So. They've all come upstairs and then a few ladies who worked in accounts have come over to me and they've gone, Harry, this me, yeah? <laughs> they've gone, we didn't know you had that much followers. <laughs> it was like, 100,000. I was like, yeah, I mean, yeah, oh just my. do a bit of Instagram, <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> they've gone, oh, we looked at your Instagram and we can see the stairs in the office, you're doing so well. I was like, yeah, it's me. Um, and at the time, I was doing something on BBC in it and I had a pilot. Um, it's been commissioned now, but like, I think because of COVID, it's been moving mad. But I was like, yeah, I'm going to hopefully do a show with BBC. And I was like, oh, God, really? And they all followed me. Mad. Mm-hmm. But I didn't follow none of them back. Because oh. I remember, <laughs> like, you guys really didn't, didn't look at me like at anything, can it? Yeah. But that for me was like, okay, cool. I'm leaving this job. Mm-hmm. I've left there with a, like a, head you look no. Yeah. Watch like, when you know, watch me in two years' yeah. time. Yeah. And it's so mad, the, the, the owner of the company, who's a millionaire, he hit me up randomly one day and he goes, I can't say it, but I can't say it in words, but I'm so proud of you. Aww. Because Lovely. he knows, I was, always, I was a hard worker, but I'd yeah. always come to work and work. I'd never miss a day. And if I yeah. did, it's because I had this to do in it. <laughs> that gave me the most satisfaction ever to know that mm. even though like I was you know, a little guy in the, in the, in the company, I'm now bigger, not bigger than the company, but I am my own, own business. Team, yeah. I'm my own guy yeah. now, innit? But the humble beginnings is what keeps me grounded, though, because mm. that made me where I am now, innit? Mm. So, Ooh. we thank God. 
You we know? do. Oh, yeah, we appreciate it. it. It's nuts though, man. But I just always think like you just have to like want this shit, man. Like you gotta want it, bro. Just have to find your belly. Yeah, like you gotta want it, man. Like, and I'm not, I'm not. A, this is the thing. I, I'm not a success story yet, and I don't feel like I've reached my full potential yet. No, you're but a success story. You're, to, you're no, but to, to get to where I am right now is my success story for personal levels. And you're, you've inspired. You're inspiring. Yeah, and that's why when I when I come us. onto platforms like this, yeah, I just really want to reiterate here yeah, that like nobody's gonna give this shit to you. Mm. Nobody's gonna give it to you. Nobody's gonna say to you, okay, here's an opportunity. No, you've got to want it. And mm. your 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 little you know the, the little shutdowns that happen and all of that other stuff are just part of the game, bro. Mm. Like if I tell you guys what's happened in my life in my career, you'd think, rah, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Mm. But it happens, bro. You gotta keep yeah. moving. Literally, and, um, you just gotta keep pushing. But yeah, we thank God though, man. We thank. Amen. Harry. Yes. It's been real. It's been real, man. I feel like I've my enjoyed heart having... has been poured out here. Yeah. Oh, we love that. We love that. We love yeah. the honesty. Keeping it real, you know, relatable for the people. That's all I can do, you know. Yeah. No, yeah. we appreciate Make sure you guys it. subscribe to Down to Mars. Subscribe! Yeah, little vlog. No. Yeah, little vlog. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe, like, comment, all of that Look good back. stuff. Make sure that you guys stay locked. Um, more content coming for you consistently all the time, you know. <laughs> Let us know anyone that you'd like us to sit down, chop it up with, comment. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know your thoughts. Any think any topics that you'd like us to cover mm -hmm. suggest let us know um and thank you guys thank Woo. you guys for your continued support we appreciate it always